In this video, I'm continuing my testing on getting uh, 1280 megahertz to work with the NASA M Light GPS. Now, the main thing I'm going to be doing in this video is putting on a lower wattage transmitter because I've tried a lot of other things with this uh, 800 milliwatt uh, 1.3 gigahertz transmitter, and uh, the video is great from it but it always interferes with this GPS even though I have the saw filter and a bandpass filter and a low pass barrel filter uh, I can still have limited satellites maybe up to six five or six and it's still not the best it could be I even tried moving the GPS out further as far as it would go like a foot away from the quadcopter and it didn't really seem to help I've also still got the antenna on the bottom down here, the blue beam. So what I decided to do was take the next advice somebody gave me, and that's just go to a lower wattage video transmitter. So I'm going to a 1.3 gigahertz 400 milliwatt transmitter from the 800 milliwatt transmitter. And I'm going to try it without the band pass, but leave the low pass on. And then if that doesn't work, I'll put the band pass back on and test it. And after I do all that and get it working, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a range test on the, the RC 2.4 gigahertz transmitter to see what kind of range I'm getting on, with low power on my radio, just do a range test to see if the 1280 is affecting that. And uh, so that's mainly what's in this video. And my reason for doing all this testing is because I want to use my Fat Shark goggles with the uh, laser brushless gimbal uh, Fat Shark compatible uh, 1280 megahertz receiver and uh, to do that I have to of course be using 1280 megahertz on my video transmitter I'll just tell you ahead of time if you don't want to watch the whole video that uh, my conclusion was I needed both the band pass and the low pass filters and the lower milliwatt transmitter for it to really work well and I range tested it and I got really good range with that setup so that looks like what I'm gonna go with you can watch the rest of the video to see how I did it and how I came to that conclusion we don't have any clouds today and so that may make a difference with the GPS as well but uh, the biggest difference is the 400 milliwatt transmitter instead of the 800 milliwatt transmitter I don't have the Mobius sitting here right now, but that didn't seem to make any difference anyway. I may want to do some tests on the Mobius later because I've heard when it actually saves a video file that it can affect the GPS, but I'm not testing that right now. So let's just see what it does with a lower wattage video transmitter. Okay, right now I just have the uh, quadcopter flight battery plugged in. I don't have the transmitter on. The transmitter battery is not plugged in. And I'm just trying to acquire some satellites. Okay, it only took about uh, 45 seconds, and I've already got all the satellites. Uh, I've got a blinking green light. Ground station is set to 1280, and now I'm going to plug in the transmitter out here. Okay, still have a solid lock. The light is blinking green. Now plugging in the transmitter. Okay, transmitter is plugged in on 1280. And I'm still seeing... Okay, now I'm seeing a green and three reds. And then here we can see it's not so bad. I actually got nine satellites. <laughs> I guess it went back to blinking just green when I walked away from it. And now we got nine satellites. Now that's the most I've ever had. And uh, eight and nine satellites now with a lower, lower wattage transmitter. So honestly, I think that's the problem. It's just uh, the 1280 really swamps everything. So maybe 400 milliwatts is the right amount. Uh, now let's go ahead and switch to 1258. So going up to 1258. That's channel D. Still have the solid green light. And I'm switching to 1258. There. Now, when you switch frequencies, apparently the GPS loses its signal for a little bit and has to regain it. That's what I'm beginning to see. Okay, let's check out and see what's in here. Remember, this is without the bandpass filter, too. All I have on here 
is the low pass RF filter. No satellites at this point on 1258. That's kind of strange, isn't it? That uh, 1280 now works better? Is that, is that true? Uh, that is kind of strange. Okay, let's just reset the whole quadcopter and see what we get. Okay, I just reset the quadcopter. Have the quadcopter on only. I don't have the video transmitter on. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the video transmitter. 1258, remember. Okay, I've got the solid uh, blinking green light, and now I'm plugging in the transmitter. 1258, let's see what happens. Okay, right away it went to blinking. Some red, green and three reds. Let's see what we got inside. Yes, we still have zero satellites. So uh, maybe the next thing to do is put the uh, bandpass filter back on and see if we can get those same nine satellites on 1258. Okay, 1258 uh, with the bandpass and the low pass, and we're just waiting on satellites, but I got a uh, solid green immediately. I mean, it's just right away got it. Now I'm gonna power up the video transmitter and see what happens. Okay, powering up the video transmitter. All right. Still got a solid green now. I didn't get that going to red blinking. Showing seven satellites. Oh, make that eight. So now 1258 is working just fine. Now that I got the band pass on. All right, now let's switch over to 1280 again and see if the band pass also works with that. I like to show my receiver here to show you what I'm channel them on. There's channel 9 for 1280. I'm going to switch the uh, transmitter. It's already plugged in. I'm going to switch it over to 1280. There we go. And the solid green light remained. It didn't go away and make red lights like it did when I didn't have the band pass. Okay, let's see what we got. Nine satellites. Eight, well it was nine, now it's eight. But I mean it looks like that levels the playing field between the two frequencies, 1280 and 1258. They both get eight satellites with the band pass and the low pass RF filters, both together. So, I mean, that looks like the answer to me. Lower power transmitter and the two filters, and that seems to stabilize everything. And I mean, I'm still getting plenty of signal. As you can see, this is in the basement. I'm just going to close the door here. Okay, I close the door, and that is transmitting through the door, through a metal door, and it's still picking up the signal. In fact, I'm even standing in front of the patch antenna. That has some effect, makes it a little snowy, but it's still getting through me. It's getting through me and the door, so looks pretty good. I think that's the best solution for me. So best solution was a lower power 400 milliwatt uh, 1.3 gigahertz transmitter, a low pass RF filter, the barrel type, on coming out of the transmitter followed by this homemade bandpass, 1280 bandpass filter. Plus I also have the, uh, the NASA upgraded with a saw filter. So I've really got three things going on here. The antenna is mounted underneath. That was another suggestion. So, you know, that seems to work pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to try it like that. Still got eight satellites there. In closing, I tried moving the GPS way out here, you know, away from the antenna. I had it placed out here on the, about a, you know, a couple of feet away from the antenna, and it didn't seem to help. So, this looks like the best solution. I've got the radio on range check, so this is the final step. I just got to see if the uh, receiver still works uh, with all this 1280 gear on here, as long as it's not interfering the receiver. We don't want 1280 messing the receiver up. So let's just see if it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it on range check, and I'm going to have this rubber band to hold the button here down. And uh, so first I'll turn on the quadcopter. Now another thing is I, re I remove one wire from each motor so the motors won't spin up in case it goes into failsafe or something. Now I'm just going to plug in the video 
because it wouldn't be a fair test if the 1280 wasn't actually going. Now, there's my, I'm putting it on channel 9 for 1280. Hmm. All right, so all that's going. Of course, we're not going to get many satellites because we're under the porch right now. But Let's just check fail safe and see that works first. So, when I flip this switch, it goes into fail safe and you can see that rapid blinking light. That's my fail safe switch. Okay, back to normal, GPS mode, and solid light on the receiver. Now, if we lose, if we get out of range and it goes so that it goes into fail safe, we should see the receiver light go out and also this start blinking yellow, the power module. Okay, now I'm going to put the rubber band on. Now, if it's really bad, if I'm really not very good, it'll probably go to fail safe now. But it didn't. So it's working on low power. Now what we're going to do is walk out there. Usually it's about, uh, you have to go about um, 30 meters. Okay. We're already at about 30 meters. Hey, you got five satellites. For a little bit you did. Five satellites, but I think the receiver light went out. No, it's just flickering a little flickering. bit. Flickering, so somewhere right in here. But it didn't actually go into fail safe, okay, you know what I mean? It's back on solid now. Yeah. So it did, uh, so it's about right about 30 meters, which is normal. Yeah, let's go further and see if it kicks into fail safe. Yeah, we'll see if we can get fail safe. So it's starting to flicker. We're getting brown out as we go beyond 30 meters. Okay, there's fail safe right there. It's kind of still marginal. It went to fail safe and back. When the wind stopped blowing, it did. <laughs> All right, there's fail safe. But we went a lot further. We might have gone double. Maybe we went about uh, about 60 meters. About 60 meters before it went into a solid fail safe. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back. The radio's underneath the deck back there. And this is on low power mode, by the way. On the radio. I'm zooming in. Hold on. There's that radio. Now we're going to try the other frequency. Yeah, let's switch it to the other frequency right now. Okay, we're going to channel D, which is 1258. Got a solid light. Now let's go for it. Now let's go back out. There it goes fail safe. No, it's about the same. Eh, about the same, maybe. Can't even see we're the actually, basement. We're actually down behind a hill, so if I was to if I was up in the air high, let me hold it up here. Yep, see if I held it up in the air, John, look at that. It went out of fail safe because it's actually the hill blocking it. Yeah. And not really the distance. Yeah. So I mean this could probably go a mile or so before it would go into fail safe under full power. Hmm. You know, full power on the transmitter. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's it. That's a wrap on that. Okay.